well got another video review for you this afternoon so this product here is from OptiVolt this is one of their it's a 100 watt solar panel and what makes them special is they're supposed to be able to work even in partially shaded condition let's say you're camping or something like that and you've got a solar panel mounted on the roof of your vehicle or or if you got a tiny home or whatever and you know not every time when you go camping can you put your vehicle right in the direct sun so you can you know pull in all that power you know sometimes you're gonna have trees and obstacles in the way so I'm gonna show you a real-world test of this solar panel so stick around so I got on the their website and was looking through how this thing works and uh, they have developed some sort of circuitry where you know if uh, there's a, a shaded area over the solar panel that it takes that shaded area and stretches it out somehow and you know the panel thinks that you know it's still got Sun but it's just a little bit dimmer not sure how they do it but I just took it up to a solar panel multimeter like I'm just gonna jump right into the testing because we ain't got much Sun but you can see right here at the very top it shows that it's putting out 71.8 well 71.44 watts and it's changing a little bit because you know you get some clouds and now it's 70.61 and you can see it's between 70 and 71 watts and it's probably three or four o'clock in the afternoon and so that's not too bad for a hundred watt solar panel but next i've got just a piece of wood here <laughs> and guys this is not some fancy test this is just a real world test you know whenever you go camping there might be a a tree limb that's you know over the front of it shading you know the, the the panel and so I'm gonna put that over the front of it just to block from top to bottom and just see what it does and you can see right there that it's still at 70.32 watts that's that's pretty crazy and it's still 70.15 watts now it's down to 70.70 watts so you know it's pretty amazing this thing's really not that affected that much by the by the shading let's put something else in front of it and see if it goes down more so uh for the next test i'm just going to take the box that it come in and i'm going to lay it across the solar panel and i'm going to you know put put it in front of uh, the panel quite a bit you know i'm going to shade it down and if you want to look i mean the sun's coming in at that direction and you can see all this right here is shaded and so we're gonna do a test on it let me yeah it says 64.54 watts now 62.83 watts and you can see that the voltage is 45.92 volts and that's because this is the higher voltage panel they've got a standard voltage and then they've got a higher voltage but you can see right there at the very top, 64.98 watts. And so, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. This thing doesn't act like a normal solar panel at all. I mean, with a normal solar panel, you shade a little area, and it just it just cuts off most of the, the wattage. And it's kind of frustrating. So, you know, is this solar panel going to be for everybody? No. Because if you've got direct sun, you know, I probably wouldn't recommend it just because of the cost. Uh, this panel here cost about two hundred and seventy eighty dollars something like that or let's say in a tiny home And you're kind of out in the woods and you got a little bit of shading issues. This would be a great panel for that uh, Let's say if you've got a, a vehicle with uh, some solar panels on top and you know you take it camping and you're Aggravated with not being able to get the wattage out of those solar panels that you would like to get you know and it's frustrating trying to you know get the optimal wattage when you're camping because you get trees overhead you've got you know things that's shading it this would be a good panel for that so very very impressed but still you can see right here still at 59.14 watts and i'm gonna pull this off and we're gonna i'm just gonna show you i'm not pulling your leg now it jumped back up to 66 point seven nine watts <laughs> now it's at 70 <laughs> that's pretty crazy and like i said this is just a 100 watt solar panel and yes this is you can get a uh, higher wattage out of it this is just later in the afternoon it's you know three or four o'clock in the afternoon and uh you know the sun's not at the optimal where it needs to be to get the most power out of it but just wanted to show you 
how this technology worked. So I um, went ahead and moved indoors, not too fond of being out in the direct sun for very long. I've had skin cancer before, about lost an ear because of it. So I wanted to bring it in, get it out of the sun. So these panels here are the nine bus bars with the half cut sails. So they're gonna be a pretty efficient panel as you've seen outside. You know, that wasn't in full sun during the, the peak uh, of the day, you know. This was just later in the afternoon. It was more of a real world testing. Today wasn't uh, a testing for getting the peak amount of watts out of it. It was more for just showing that the panel can um, overcome those shaded spots and still maintain you know, great amount of wattage output. So uh, anyways, just wanted to show you guys an, an up close look at these panels. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with them. You can tell that it's a, a good quality panel. Uh, the frame on this, it is the black, which I, I do prefer. I think it looks like a, a cleaner installation, especially if you were gonna mount it on top of a, a vehicle, you know, or a tiny home. You want to kind of blend in a little bit more. You don't want to see that that aluminum, that bare aluminum across uh, you know the edges of your solar panel, especially if you're mounting it on a vehicle or something. So one thing that I noticed whenever I received this solar panel was you've got a, uh, your box here in the back, and this one is you know it's quite a bit bigger than you know just the standard one that comes on the back of the solar panels. So I would say that they have some sort of uh, circuitry in here to uh, be able to overcome you know the uh, shading and all that uh, so it's able to put out more power so i'm not sure i've not opened this up and inspected it none of that uh, i figured it would probably void your warranty or whatever so i didn't open it but uh one thing that i did notice is that the cable that uh, they provide with it is not your typical you know uh, cable that comes with solar panels like this is your your normal uh, solar panel cable and you can see this stuff is really stiff you know you can bend it but you know it's it's still got that stiffness but uh with this one here that come with the solar panel uh this one here is just really flexible i mean really flexible i mean regular solar panel cable is not that not that flexible but you know this but this one here it's it's uh got its own connector it's really nice but then you can't adapt this other cable to this this is They've got their own style of cables here that you know hook in and they only fit one particular way. So you have to get them lined up and then they just push together. So with these, this cable here in the, in the connector, you can see that it's made to go on one way and there's like a little notch uh, right there on the bottom on each side. And so when you put them together, like they only fit one way. And then when you push them together, you can see that little lock just opens up. Now, when you want to pull them apart, you know, you have to twist this to the left or counterclockwise to loosen it, and then you just pull it apart, and it comes apart really easy, and it goes together really easy. So, I do like that, that feature there, and, you know, if you're wondering, well, you know, why is it important if this cable is flexible or not? Well, if you're mounting it on the roof of a vehicle... You want to be able to, you know, route it around bends and contours of the roof. And, you know, if you want to run the cable in through a door or something like that, it's a lot more flexible. Now, one question I have uh, about this uh, particular cable is, you know, uh, let's say you wanted to drill a hole in the roof of your, your vehicle. Let's say you got a, a van or something like that, and you wanted to drill down into the roof and run the cable in there. You know, that would be an awfully big uh, hole that you would have to, to drill to feed that through. So, you know, that is a question. I'm not sure if OptiVolt makes any kind of um, adapter or something where you could run a, you know, just a, a smaller cable through there where you wouldn't have to drill a hole so big to run that connector through there. So that's a question I have for them. You know, if they want to answer that in the comments down below, that would be helpful. But uh, I didn't see anything on the website. So when I received this kit, it come with uh, four Z brackets, and these are the black ones. And then it come with your hardware and everything to mount it. And then here in the uh, instruction manual here, or installation guide as they call it, it shows you how to mount the uh, panel on the roof of your vehicle, or if you wanna mount it to like some uh, T-slots, uh, like the, the rack on top of your vehicle, like a third-party T-slotted 
rack. So it shows you a couple different ways that you can mount the, the solar panel. So that was pretty helpful. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is whenever you're hooking these panels up, that it does tell you right here in the manual. It says a maximum of three standard panels or six high voltage panels may be installed together in the same array. Know that you're not going to be able to install a, a ton of panels. You know, if you've got a big RV or something like that, you're, it's not like you're going to be able to install, you know, a bunch of these. So again, it's only three standard panels or six high voltage panels. Another thing is you cannot mix the high voltage panel and the standard panels together. So you have to stay with one or the other. And then also you can't mix solar panels from like different brands with these because it'll probably mess up that, that circuitry that's built into these. So like I said, for this product here, you're gonna probably want this maybe on a, a tiny home or a vehicle or something like that that you're gonna do some camping in. And uh, you know, you, you wouldn't wanna try to put these on top of a, you know, a, a whole house. I mean, I guess you could, but you know, like I said, you can only get a limited number of panels uh, with this to work. Whereas, you know, regular solar panels, you can pretty much put as many as you want to on top of your house. So one thing I wanted to mention about the frame on this solar panel is it's very rigid. You know, a lot of solar panels here in the corners, you can kind of pull, pull down on them and flex them. And you can see them where they would come apart in the corners. This one here is it's really put together really well. And you can tell that it's a very rigid panel. And, you know, for mounting it up, they've got a lot of uh, holes here, slots around the the perimeter of the panel so it just gives you more uh, places to, to mount it. So this particular setup here is the uh, 48 volt uh, high voltage kit. They do offer it in the 24 volt uh, standard voltage. So this uh, setup here is just their their base kit and what this one uh, does is it allows you to uh, hook your, your solar panel into this M19 connector. Like I said, this is their proprietary connector here, and uh, it allows you to connect it over to some MC4 connectors. Now, they do offer an expansion kit, so what that would do is, instead of having this right here, you could use their M19 junction connector, and what that allows you to do is hook two solar panels together, or you know, if you order another one, you could hook three of them together. But, uh, you know, and then it allows you to be able to plug into it and then run those two or three panels over to MC4 connectors. So, you know, make sure when you order this thing that you, you pay attention to which one you get because, like I said, this one here is just the base kit. And basically, this one just, is, just offers it for you to plug it into MC4 connectors. If you want the expansion kit, get the expansion kit so you can add another uh, panel and you connect them together. Anyways, I'll try to make this video as short as possible without going into a lot of great detail. You know, you can look on their website. I'll put it down in the description down below. But as far as the solar panel, I'm very impressed with the quality and the performance of it was amazing. Uh, I've never seen another panel that was able to work this well with uh, such, you know, real world conditions. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, see ya.